So next topic of discussion is the functional element. Now what is functional element? Functional element is nothing but the activities related to the soil waste management. So the first activity is the waste generation, second is storage, third is collection, fourth is transfer and transport, fifth is processing and recovery and sixth one is the disposal. Now these are the activities which is required for the proper management of the solid waste. Let's see first, let's see the flow diagram of this. First the generation first the waste, solid waste is generated then it is get stored then it is get collected collected where in the dust bins or the community bins now this collected uh, solid waste is now get transfer and the transport and where does it transport to the disposal site where it gets disposed of if not then it is used for the recovery and the recycling if possible then we are used the processing this is nothing but the incineration and the composting these are the processes which is which can reduces the solid waste uh, solid waste okay then it goes to the disposal and again it gets to the recovery so this process will continuously uh, round and round so these are the flow chart of this solid waste management remember this generation storage collection transfer and disposal this is the main elements in that okay first is the waste generation now waste differ in the rate of generation quality quantity depending upon the area of generation now depending upon the area of generation area of generation means what how whether it is a household industrial or the commercial the solid waste get changes or it get differs the quality and the quantity from the residential area may not vary appreciably now the residential area mostly has the same quality as well as the quality it won't change appreciably on the other hand waste from the commercial and the industrial area may vary in large in quality and the quantity at the different times of the year now as far as commercial and the industrial areas concern the quality and the quality and the quantity changes variably at different times of the year say for example if it's the summer season the quality is comparatively different rather than the winter season this will have a marked effect on the selection of the method of collection processing and disposal now, according to the solid waste generated we have to find the better process or the better method of collection process and its disposal. Next one is the storage. The generated waste is stored within the premises in the commercial and the industrial area. Now whatever the store is gen whatever the solid waste is generated, first it is stored in the premises in the commercial as well as the industrial area. But as far as the residential is concerned, in the residential areas, occupant take it out and transfer to the community storage being near the point of generation. Now wherever is the community bins placed, where the residents going to place their solid waste. Okay. Next is the collection. Citizen deposit the waste by the roadside from where the con conveyance staff. Conservancy staff transfer it to the community bins using the wheelbarrow or the other equipment. If not possible for the residential to do so, such uh, to do so, so the conservancy staff. Conservancy staff is nothing but the municipal municipality people. They are going to take your solid waste from your household and put it into the community bins using their wheelbarrow or the other equipment, whatever is available. Such primary collection is common in India and the other developing countries which need a large number of workers and a small number of equipments. Next is the transfer and transport. The material collected in the community bins is transferred to transport vehicle for transport usually over a long distance to processing or the disposal site. So now whatever the solid waste present in the community bins is now going to transport by the municipality using their vehicle. The fleet of the transport vehicle should have sufficient capacity for the average peak, average peak load, average and peak load and should be utilized at the optimum level. So now the sufficient capacity is required. Now this truck, have you seen that green truck where it has written clean up and green up, where this truck is used for the transport of the vehicle, so transport of the solid waste. Now one, one should have to take care of the average load and the peak load. Peak load means the maximum load for a particular day. In big cities, the material is conveyed to transport station from where another set of the vehicle transported to the further. Now, uh, in case of the big cities, what happened? 
if we take the each and every truck to the disposal side the cost of the transport will increase so what happen there are some uh, uh, smaller capacity truck what they do they take it from the area to a particular point from there the bigger capacity truck will take all the garbage or all the salt waste from the small smaller area and take it to the further point for the disposal in most of the developing country the waste is collected from the well dispersed discrete point and hence referred as the transportation next is the processing and recovery a large quantity of waste must be processed otherwise it will take more time and energy to decompose before suitable disposal to reduce its potential nuisance value occasionally recover recovery of useful constitution is also carried out as an independent process there are uh, in solid waste there are some material which has some values say for example steel or aluminum which we can reuse it so these are the constituent which is required to be processed out before it disposing it off okay why because this material is going to reuse it okay most of the time rag pickers and the scavengers take out the useful material which decreases the calorific value of the waste now who is rag pickers and scavengers uh, you might have seen some scavengers and the rag picker they are just uh, taking the solid waste from the garbage so what they do they take the useful material which decreases the calorific value now what is calorific value calorific value is nothing but a value for the calorific value is the amount of heat generated by the 1 gram of waste by 1 degree celsius if we consider uh, any material which has the higher calorific value so one should have to take care of this material okay last is the disposal the waste may come for disposal either directly after its transportation or after processing disposal could be land or water logged area for the reclamation the different function are independent and interrelated which could be better managed by the system approach those activities associated associated with the ultimate disposal of the solid waste include those waste collected and transport directly to the land landfill site semi solid waste from waste water treatment plants incinerator residue compost or other substances from various solid waste processing plant that are of no use okay so these are the processes this so these are the activities which one has to take in care for the solid waste management thank you